Well, Sky, whoever goes on to win that mayor's race will set up shop here at the courthouse downtown where they will be asked to make good on the promises they make to the taxpayers. The beating heart of Music City lies in its people. We love the city. People like Clark Perry, who sells hot dogs every day on 5th and Dedrick. Three dollars out of five. So what does he think the next mayor needs to do? Improve the school system, starting by raising teacher salaries. It's almost obscene. I mean, my wife and I, we donate stuff to schools every year, you know, supplies because the teachers are coming out of their pocket. They shouldn't have to do that. Others say Nashville needs to make the streets safer for pedestrians. There's a lot of people down here can get hit and have gotten hit because of this. And outside of downtown, the complaint you're likely to hear the most from any mid-state driver. I love Nashville. I don't think there's anything wrong with it but the traffic. <laughs> By the end of his tenure, Mayor Carl Dean will have a number of projects under his belt. For example, encouraging Nashvillians to walk to make Music City a healthier place. But Dean will perhaps be best remembered for building things, big things like First Tennessee Park and the Music City Center. I think we've had enough projects um, like that. Lauren Bush says Nashville needs a different kind of construction. Waiting lists like for HUD and Section 8 vouchers take over a year and we just really need housing in this city. Now, I spoke to more than a dozen people out here on the streets today. By far, the biggest concerns I keep hearing over and over is housing, improving education, and of course, severe traffic problems here in and around Nashville. Now, we're about 15 minutes out from that big mayoral debate right here on Fox 17. We'll also have a full recap tonight on Fox 17 News at 9 and 10. Reporting live downtown, Eric Alvarez, Fox 17 News.